Well, let's see real quick. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Guy's gonna be all mad. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. One of my wires came off, I think. Alright. We lost one of the wires. <laughs> I I think. Yeah, damn. The K6 is back up and running. If you guys didn't know it was broken because i did a firmware update on it one day and when i tried to update it it just kind of froze and it basically bricked the computer so the company was cool enough to send me the stuff that i needed to you know do the work they basically sent me a new controller the new controller sits right here the hink sinks in the back it was just these screws there's like four on the top two on the bottom very very easy to do it just took a little bit of time maybe like an hour because there's like little connections in there and then they also silicone them as well so the reason why i'm doing this video though is because we got to see if this thing will hit 75 miles an hour so i need to get onto a street where we don't have much traffic i'm probably going the wrong way we should probably go out to the country and see how fast this thing goes i realized that my speedo meter is not working the mirrors need to be adjusted. There we go, that's good. Let me hit the start button. Ah! <laughs> it is not working. Hold on, give me a sec. Okay, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. So I switched over from an iPhone to an Android phone, and I don't know how this speedo meter works. All I know is it's not as good as the original one I had. I noticed that when I went onto the, the Android Google Play Store, whatever the hell, is that there are so many different names for speedometers. They're all called speedometer. So every single time you guys ask me, which one are you using? Which one are you using? I'm like, it's speedometer. That's all it is. And it's like a black little label or whatever, like a little icon, thumbnail. But yeah, I didn't know there were so many. So I apologize, guys, because I can't even find the one I was using on my iPhone. And now I'm starting to wonder if they even make that one for Android and maybe it's just an iOS one. But at least I have the speedometer up here so we can see something. It looks like it's kind of like slightly delayed. I want to see how fast this thing goes before we run out of battery juice. So let's see if we can get this green. Oh, damn it. Damn it. <laughs> it also records our duration and the miles and it's all on this front thing. But the only bad thing is when you load this app up, which I hate. I'm not even going to put a link in the description. Is it gives you a bunch of TikTok ads and I hate that. I don't need to see a bunch of stuff that I don't care to download on my phone. Have one little ad on the bottom like my old one did, that's perfectly fine. But don't give me ads in the beginning. I have to sit there and wait 10 seconds to skip. All right, we're moving. We're jamming. All right, it looks like it's gonna top out. Oh, what the heck? We ran out of road. Holy moly. You see how fast we were jamming though? I know we didn't reach 60. But it was still going. It, it did feel like it was run out of a little bit of real estate, not just the road. But man, those brakes is what I want to talk about. Those things work so damn good. We slowed down so smooth. I didn't feel like it was going to lock up. And I hit those like last minute. But also at the same time, you probably don't want to keep doing pulls like that over and over and over because you might heat up the brakes. But I'm just saying, they worked really good for using it for the first time right now. All right, let's try this road. Let's see how fast we can go. One, two, three. Holy shit. All right, here we go. Where are we at? 57, 58 almost. Oh, man. I did not see an improvement. It didn't look like it was getting any better. We are coming slightly uphill, but I'm not seeing anything. Oh, this road is jacked up. Come on, Fresno, get it together. Yeah, so that's unfortunate, man. I see all your guys' comments saying, oh, there's like three or four modes and there isn't. There is when you go into setting one, and I know you guys aren't gonna be to see this display, but I'm in setting two, which is the strong mode. You can go into medium mode by double tapping this one. It will say one right here next to the battery lights right here. And then if you tap it once in one, you can have different selections of one, two, three, four, five, and I think six maybe. I'm assuming that might be for region. I really have no idea, 
I should put it in one and see. So, oh, oh yeah, that is the regen. Look, I'm hella slowing down and I'm not even using the brakes. There we go, okay. That's good to know, but look how slow it is without going into the dual motor. All right, there we go. <laughs> I gotta get that power back. So there is no regen in mode number two, but wow, that is the regen settings. I think I turned it up to four or five, which is the max. Man, that thing really slows down, but that's cool if you wanna go on a group ride and whatnot and have a good time with this thing because the battery is great and all. It's pretty big, but 134 volts. I mean, you're pushing a shit ton of power out of this thing. So you just gotta keep in mind that uh, your battery is gonna go pretty damn quick. I would say though, between this and the Roadrunner Pro, this will hands down get more range than that though because the Roadrunner Pro just, it's not doing it, man. It's a 30 amp hour battery on it, 60 volts, cool, but I think that's like 1800 watt hours and this thing's 24 or 25 like watt hours, like 100 watt hours, I'm not sure. But it's up there, it's definitely bigger. But of course you're pulling like more power. But man, that takeoff speed is just crazy. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, the Roadrunner just can't compete against this thing. Like, I'm sorry. Like after getting on the Roadrunner, I haven't been on this thing in shit, it's been such a long time. There's just no, no competition. This thing peels out like crazy. But it definitely gets way better like traction acceleration. I mean, it's probably five times as quicker than the Roadrunner just getting up to speed. But the Roadrunner is more practical. Now this thing is only like $4,000 now. No discount codes, no nothing, because I bought this thing myself off of Inja, or The Inja. I wish I did because I would love to try to promote this thing, because I have been already, like just for me. Oh. Man, <laughs> oh man, one of my wires came off, I think. All right, we lost one of the wires. <laughs> I, th I think, let me see. No, oh, I'm pretty far out, so let's see. Let me turn it off and turn it back on, but something definitely popped loose. Okay. We're back up to it. Uh, hopefully like that wire is still connected or maybe it was just I hit something really hard and it was like like cutting itself out. I'm not 100% sure. Let me go into two because that region makes it feel like there's something wrong with it because it's slowing down by itself. All right, all right, let me see if we're good. I wanna make sure I make it home, but let me hit it real quick and see. Oh yeah, okay, we're, we're still doing good. It must have just been such a high like a jump to it that it might have just freaked out and thought like it wrecked or something. Okay, that's good. Because something I didn't tell you guys, I'll put the images up on the screen, you probably saw in the beginning of the video, but they silicone like every one of these connections that are in here. And I didn't do that. I actually took the silicone off with my little flathead, you know, screwdriver. And I just didn't plan on, you know, doing it. They also put thermal paste on the back to the controller. I didn't do that either, but you also have a bunch of like controller temperature settings and it will beep at you if it gets hot. It should also turn off as well. So I'm not too worried about temperature, especially right now with it not being like 100 degrees out. But that must have just been a freak accident where I hit something really big and it just like, like what the hell was that? <laughs> That's good, man. Cause I was about to hit up my buddy and call him be like, hey bro, I know you're gonna come over in about an hour cause I have to change out one of my security lights outside. But I was about to, oh, I was about to say, hey man, uh, I'm gonna see you sooner, bro. I need a ride, <laughs> I need a truck. There was no way I was gonna be pushing this thing. It's too awkward, it's too low to the ground. Like your hands are literally like, like pretty much like bent over, you know? Like if you got bad like back problems, you cannot push this thing. Even when I move it from outside the store to like the back of my store to go lock it up and stuff, it's still not fun. I'll tell you that right now, like it still kind of hurts. If you're younger, you might not have that big issue. But here we go, one, two, three. <laughs> oh man, this thing is fun as hell. Dang. Now something that also might give a little bit of roughness to the ride now that I just thought about is I did air these tires up. Because when I got it from the engine, he was like, hey, I, I did all this stuff. I was like, cool. But I personally like to go over stuff and double check it, which I need to check all these axle bolts and everything like that. I aired the tires up to what I thought they should be at. 
and I think it's giving it a little bit more harsher of a ride, but I also was trying to aim for more top speed, so I wasn't too worried about it being a rub, but it still doesn't feel that bad. The seat's still not like super comfortable, but it's doable. But yeah, so I think that has something to do with uh, when we hit big potholes, we might have issues like, look at this big old hole in the ground. <laughs> Don't wanna hit stuff like that, that would suck. I know I saw a lot of guys comments, you know, in that one video we did that was like, what was it, like 2 million views or almost 2 million views? Saying about one pothole, man, you're done. <laughs> I actually think the Roadrunner would probably be worse because these tires are pretty wide and the way you sit on, you have more like stability and the Roadrunner Pro feels great stability wise because the handlebars up front. But I mean, if you hit a pothole, this, the tires are so skinny. They're like, what, 2.75? These are like, I think, five and a half or six. These things are really like grippy, even though we keep losing traction. But I feel like this video is a bust, to be honest. I, I, I let you guys down. Oh, scared me. I heard like something in the corner. I thought there was a car coming from the dead end. Well, I think it's someone on the other side of the fence. Yeah, I just feel like I let you guys down because uh, everyone says this thing does 75 miles an hour. It doesn't. I haven't seen videos out there that prove with like like a speedo meter, like actual mile per hour. I haven't seen it. If you guys have, like, let me know, but I have not seen it. I've only seen people say, look, it has four modes. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't. Let me see if I can show you guys that really quick. Hold on. All right. Oh, oh, see, see how it's blinking four? Oh, see how it's flashing four. And then if I go this way, it goes to three. All right. So I'm back in two. But if you put it in mode number one, that's region. I don't know if you guys could have saw that very good, but that's what I'm trying to get at is when people take pictures of these things, look, I got mode number four. They probably lying. But I'm on the newest firmware. I got the newest controller and nothing in the settings will change nothing. And after playing with this thing today, I feel like I'd rather get rid of my Roadrunner Pro. But the reason why I thought about getting rid of this before the Roadrunner Pro is because the Roadrunner Pro has more of like an upgrade path where it's so tiny and everything just, I don't know, it's easy to take off. This thing is 134 volt. They don't make anything for this custom type of scooter. So I feel like it'd be better on the Roadrunner Pro to kind of mess around with and have some fun. But now that I ride this thing, I'm just like, this thing is just too much of a blast. Like, try to see how fast my mile per hour moves up. I know this thing's a little laggy and the sun's out right now, even though it's gonna rain in about an hour. So me and my buddy got to get the security cameras down and I gotta get this video done. But here we go, one, two, three. Look at that, look how fast. <laughs> Woo! mile per hour jumps up there man it's crazy <laughs> oh man i love it i love it <laughs> i always worry about this thing though um like something coming loose man because it's a death trap if something comes loose like if your wheel comes off you're done man like it's gonna you're gonna get injured so bad like, I like Beyond Riders clothing and stuff like that, but I don't even really highly recommend Beyond Riders clothing for this scooter. I would actually recommend motorcycle gear, like actual like metal, aluminum plates, you know, like real stuff like in your elbows and your shoulder pads because the pads that are in the Beyond Riders jacket, I don't think are gonna hold up as well as those, but you will be spending like 400 bucks or so like on a jacket. But man, safety first. This thing is scary. I can't believe like how fun this thing is. All right, so let's do a let's do a dig real quick and see see if I can keep it straight anyway. All right, so it's reset. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh yeah! Woo yes, baby! We are moving. Woo! With these tires aired up. I actually think it's doing a little tiny bit better, even though it sounds weird to say, but I, I hooked, well, I spun regardless, but I stayed straight. And I realized before I've had it from the engine and wear up these tires, it would kind of like go all over the place, unless I just got my balance down good right there. 
but I always noticed that I could not keep it straight and I kind of had to slightly let off of it or do like 50% or 70% throttle and right there I was able to full throttle the whole entire time so that felt really good and I like this thing man I love it actually that's what I should say <laughs> this thing is such a blast looks like school just got out so that's gonna be fun oh ah, bump. <laughs> that's great I don't think I want to ride over there too much but I do kind of want to go this way because I just want to ride for a little tiny bit longer every time I get on this thing I get those like butterfly feelings in my stomach and then I'm like do I want to get on it like I don't hit me and then I get on it and I don't want to get off if that makes sense because you know you gotta get I gotta get my GoPro ready I gotta get my helmet on my gear on you know kind of clean up real quick get some pants on instead of my sweats because I don't trust being in uh, sweats riding this thing even though you could do it but it's a little sketchy but yeah um, <laughs> I don't want to get off of this thing but I'm pretty sure the rain will change my mind a little bit but I also have to meet up my buddy like I said so but look at that 45 miles an hour in the bike lane baby let me know which one you would buy like I know it's in the middle of the video or probably close to the end actually which one would you pick four thousand dollars for this which is it's seriously like five times faster but the top speed is only 10 more miles per hour actually no it's only like eight miles per hour more than the roadrunner on flat ground with my weight at 170 pounds all righty don't go that way <laughs> what's that guy doing <laughs> he decided to uh, make a go back the same way he was going that's funny ah bumps <laughs> oh, I love this thing, man. I love it. Don't be alarmed when you like see it in person. You're like, oh my God, you're sitting right on the ground. As soon as you sit on it, you actually feel pretty big. I feel like a go-kart, but I feel like I'm not as big as a go-kart. Like I'm not wide, if that makes sense. And I can't fucking talk right now. What did I say? Go-part? <laughs> We're not talking about co-part or go-part. It's a go-kart. All right, let's, uh, oh shit, ah, bumps. Should we fly past these people? Nah, probably not because some of them turn in here because schools are getting out, so you gotta be a little careful. But damn, these people are jamming 35 miles an hour on this road. I'm doing 41 and they're like pulling away from me. I'm not the only one speeding around here. If there's no one on our trail, we should see how fast this thing goes in that little section where we do all our review bikes and scooters and stuff normally we get like 27 on average i'm curious on what we would get at the end of the road with this thing probably a lot more bye bye all right here we go let's test this out i see one person walking but they're not on this one but they might be coming this way so let me test this out before it's too late one two three go Woo! Uh, i'm gonna have to slow down way before we get there what do you guys see 46 miles an hour i bet you it was more than that because i had to let off and i bet you the speedometer didn't catch up in time but i saw about 48 roughly oh man that was adrenaline rush right there definitely adrenaline rush so let me put it in mode number one and I'll see how it is when I full throttle it, but I'm gonna slow down before these, uh, or the per person up there. One, two, three, go. It still peels out. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. This guy's gonna be all mad. I notice I can't change the thing on the fly. I gotta let off and then I can change it. But hey, that guy can't be mad. I was only doing like, 20 or 18 miles around him <laughs> he just heard someone peel out he doesn't know if it was me or not okay now that wasn't me buddy i'm on a little toy man this thing is like not powerful at all <laughs> i do wish there was a way to turn down the setting now that i think about it because even in mode number one this thing still peels out <laughs> so yeah unfortunate <laughs> it looks like there's a cop down there too let's go find him let's go have some fun all right you guys ready for this How about we uh, haul ass on the way back because I don't want him to see me doing about 55 miles an hour like coming up to him, you know, that wouldn't be fun. <laughs> he could be reading my speed like the whole time, who knows. 
Well, let's see you real quick. Alright, here we go. One, two, three. How can he be mad at that, man? How can he be mad at that? He's not coming behind us, so we're good. We're on a little dead end road. There's no reason why he should come after me. I'm not hurting anybody. But definitely on a, a scooter, I guess you could say, that's only supposed to do 15 miles an hour. Because <laughs> that's, the, that's the law for like scooters here is 15 miles an hour. And anything over that you could technically get a ticket if they want to give you one um, bikes can go up to 28 miles an hour but only 20 miles an hour on throttle i feel like i say this in every single video now because there's always those guys that comment but you know what i need to stop worrying about that i don't care if we get pulled over we get pulled over and we'll make content out of it we'll see what the cop thinks and what he says i don't really care because like you guys have helped me build this channel make money buy my own type of stuff that i want to buy and just have a good time out here so if i end up getting one of these vehicles confiscated for whatever reason so be it at least we can all kind of learn from the video and see what cops say especially in my area because i know some of my views come from people in this area and they just want to know what cops are actually thinking about stuff like this so i can care less but i know other people out there like i'm not trying to get my thing confiscated it took me forever to save up for this and i get it that's why i'm not saying do what i do oh, oh that big ass bump but i'm just saying like i personally don't care i try to tell you guys the laws of what you can and can't do do what you want car speed limit is 40 miles an hour everyone goes faster than that Ooh, man holy shit <laughs> Yeah, I was jamming. Oh man, adrenaline rush, baby. This wakes me up. If I were just to get out of my bed and the K6 be sitting right outside my bed and I just jump on it and go down the street like a few times, I'll be wide awake. I don't need that Red Bull in the morning. I don't need that Dutch Bros drink or that Starbucks. This would wake me up so much. Oh, oh, I see the Honda Civic looking. Let's, uh, let's go past it. here don't turn don't turn don't hit me oh there's another car don't hit me don't go out don't do it okay you're good now go ahead are you turning right or going left what are you doing no blinkers no nothing oh man what a fun time guys i'm freezing my ass off and I'm going home before it rains, but uh, <laughs> how fun is that? <laughs> Man, one more pool. <laughs> that was probably one of the worst ones because I could not get traction like at all. And I feel like I need to check the front because remember a long time ago when I first bought this thing, I was missing a bolt to the suspension and I just heard something like hit the bottom of the frame. But I don't know if that was a bolt or just a rock. I, I can't really tell. So, I'm not too sure. There's one car on my ass. I guess I'll just haul ass even though I don't know if I'm missing a bolt or not. YOLO. YOLO. Yeah! All right, your blinker's on. Which way are you going, buddy? Which way are you going? All right, one, two, three. <laughs> Come on, Prius. This is why people hate electric cars, man. They're so slow. I do like the new ones, though. The new ones are nice. I saw all that Saronster got a new car, too, man. You see his nice ass truck? Go show some love to Saronster on Instagram, man. Tell him I sent you. He has a nice ass truck now. And I'm jealous because he can charge his bikes on that too which is cool man i can't charge my shit on my tesla i don't have like plugs like that <laughs> but that is super dope man really excited for him i love people like making money and like buying stuff they want you know and just enjoying life that's what it's all about 
Well, true MVPs, I didn't die, and this thing doesn't go over 60 miles an hour. So, unfortunately, we're, we are where we are. I'm speaking the truth. I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys are the true MVPs, and I got to get my security light fixed. And real quick, if for any of you guys that are interested, uh, we did 11.4 miles, 25 minutes of riding. I probably cut the video up a little tiny bit. Top speed was 58.5 on here, and we still have four out of the five battery bars, but when I was full on it, I saw it dipping down into two at some times, but it was normally hovering around three, but it was going down to two a little bit. So just keep that in mind. It's kind of like the Roadrunner Pro. I guess real quick before I actually end the video for you guys, that's the difference. If you guys didn't know, if someone doesn't have both of these, I also got suspension on here. We're doing another video on that, so don't worry. But yeah, so see how low it sits, but it's pretty much like not that wide compared to this. It looks a little wider, but it's really not. So there you go.